Nick asks, can starboard be used for a transom material? He's looking to put it on an aluminum boat with a 15 horsepower four stroke motor. So this is kind of a, a tricky one. I feel like it'll it'll stumble us this, up a little bit. This right? is a good one. This is a good one. Probably you might need to break it into two things. Can it be yeah. used for a transom? And let's, then what about? Let's yeah. do that. That's yeah. going to be great. So it, your standard transom application, where it's a cord fiberglass transom, you, you, you have plywood core typically in there. No, starboard is not a good option. You can't laminate to it. You can't fiberglass it. it does, resin doesn't bond to it. It's absolutely not. Can't heavy. paint it. Can't paint it. Yeah. Yep. Heavy, now, not it, super rigid. Right. Yeah. But the major problems for a transom are that you can't bond to it. Sure. Totally. But for a small a small boat, you know, portable engine, I'd say starboard could be used to reinforce a transom. Mm-hmm. I would not use it as a transom. Yeah. So in this case, I think that, you know, based on the fact that it's a, an aluminum John boat, he's looking for something to give a little bit more support. You already have the aluminum backing of the transom that's in there. You see a lot of guys put plywood in there. You know, we generally mm-hmm. recommend Kusa for mm-hmm. uh, transom. But, you know, in this case, I would say that starboard's going to work, right? I mean, I, yeah. I definitely would want to talk about thickness with them and make sure, you know, what are they doing with it if it's a little runabout or a dinghy. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I I would definitely say the opposite. You know, if we were talking about redoing a a, 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 cons- a center console with, you know, two 150s on the back, that's not going to be the case, right? right? We would recommend something different. So, you know, but in that case, what would you unpack? No, I would say I would say you're you're spot on. I mean, I think I think the starboard would work as a viable replacement or or like reinforcement to you know a small John boat aluminum transom style. You know, I'm picturing I have I have a 12 foot John boat had it was rated for a three. I had a six on it, and that thing that transom flexed like crazy when I got on the throttle. So you know, I put a reinforcement plate on the outside of the transom. In this case, I actually used aluminum, but starboard would have done the job just fine right i probably would have gone in with one inch starboard because it, it, it's rigid enough and and thick enough that it would not interfere with anything the clamps for that motor could still fit around everything it would it would work really well and it further reinforced the transom so that the motor wasn't flexing it like crazy or towing the motor in so what about starboard versus plywood right i mean no we know that that the advantage of starboard is that that's going to last forever right. right whereas the plywood won't but from mm-hmm. a doing the job for the life of the material what would you recommend because you know one of the things we always say is that that starboard is more flexible than plywood starboard is more flexible but that's that's over larger distances right mm-hmm. you know if you take it from a sheet by sheet standpoint your plywood's going to be more rigid but if you're talking about smaller pieces, like a small 12 inch by 12 inch piece, starboard and and plywood are going to be about very comparable. Yeah. Yeah. So kind of in this place, it's like a backing plate or a stiffener, and it, you know for this definitely exactly. would work for for this application. 15 horsepower, four stroke on the back of a John boat, mm-hmm. but we're not recommending that when we go to a, a larger boat. Yeah, right? generally when you hear transoms, you don't don't think starboard. No. Yeah. No, but I've seen people use starboard for like kicker motor brackets, yep. like on such. a sailboat mm-hmm. or whatnot. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cool. those are those are good options. 